Hey there, Mission Control. Today's a very exciting day. We are going to start to assemble the base of the second version of the Grow Tower, which I'm really excited about. Be sure to check out my other videos on the Grow Tower evolution as it's gone. There's a whole playlist dedicated to it now. You can check it out on the realmartian.com website. We'll take you to YouTube, to the homepage. Here's what we got set up. We've got our flat workbench. This is going to be the assembly table, parts table. Uh, the idea we're going to go from here over to here and eventually end up here with all the parts uh, with a, a full assembly. We've got some gluing to do. I already have that started. Uh, that's going to take a while for it to cure. So our next step is to actually start assembling all this. And now we're going to see how many mistakes there were uh, in the CAD and, and the CAM uh, in the machining. So let's get started. Give you an idea, we're working with the design book here. So here, my mom sent me this. Thank you, mom, I love you. We're building this right now. So we're just going through, these are the panels, 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 and we're gonna be starting to build the actual structure. It's a whole bunch of screwing things together. So in theory, knock on metal, it should go well. That's a good sign. Ooh, that's a good sign. And that is not a good sign. That one's off. Let's see what's up with that. It's off just a little bit. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I just got into it, and sadly, we got red lines. Somewhere. When I did SolidWorks, I, I used a certain technique that was supposed to make it so I didn't have to make as many parts. It's called using configurations. And somewhere I messed up the configurations and I did it in a really bad way. These particular ones, uh, the holes were off by an inch, exactly an inch. So that, I mean, clearly there's a setting somewhere I screwed up because uh, they're off by exactly an inch. And some of the holes on the drawings, the way that they were set up for me to do the machining, one of them was actually rotated it was in the wrong position. So when I created the drawing, I actually had this and this swapped. And now you can see the cost, like if I were to not have the machining tools to be able to do this, these would be all junk. I'd have to send them back. Luckily, we've got the tools to fix it. I just used a drill press and re-drilled some of the holes. The actual grooves were correct, but the uh, drill holes were wrong. So now we're getting ready to assemble our first part here. I have a bad feeling. <laughs> I have a bad feeling that this is a harbinger of things to come, that these holes are really gonna start being a pain. We'll get through this assembly and we'll probably take a break from assembly going to CAD and before I machine any more parts, we'll make sure that these are uh, fixed for the next assemblies like the grow decks and stuff. This is all part of the, if you're gonna make a product, you gotta learn all these things. This is not something that a customer would have to do. One of the ideas that people have told we should consider is the idea of a, a kit. Save the customer the money of having to pay someone to do the assembly. So there is one assembly completed. This is the uh, front end assembly. I started on the rear and then got all frustrated because of the mistakes. So I went to the front and we'll set this on the table. So now we're gonna go back to the rear assembly which does have some problems with it that are pretty significant. So here's the bottom, there's the top. The front is into the table. It's important that we follow the drawings as well. That's nine, so that goes there, like that. And this is seven, and that goes like that. And they all come around like that. 
So this one actually has a really big screw up in it from a machining standpoint. Somehow the uh, slot that this panel sits in is totally off on this one over here. But it's perfect on this one over here. And then we're gonna do a fit check. This should fit right in there. And it surely does. But you know what? That's gonna be really hard to get in there and uh, tighten those screws down. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Okay, well, let's get her fixed. Let's get it fixed. Here's the rear panel assembly. I don't have the electrical. Ooh, that's rotating. Uh, it's got to get its cross members in before it gets tight. Okay, so this is going to be the back. This is going to be the front. Right? I like that. So then our next step is to get the cross members in. Here we go. We got the base put together. Uh, it's looking sharp. Now, we did have to uh, skip some steps here. The uh, air pump that was sent to me was wrong, so wasn't able to install that. And I'm going to wait to install the filter that I put the bracket in, but it's gonna sit right here and we're actually gonna do some testing uh, with this thing uh, for the reservoir. The uh, plugs that were sent to me were the wrong size. I think it's my fault. I just ordered some plugs here and uh, they didn't match the receptacle. This is correct, but its ends are wrong, so that's got to get fixed. And uh, yeah, the LED lights are not installed yet on the other side of this, so I can't turn it on and totally blow your mind. Uh, but it actually turned out nice and rigid after I got everything put on. So very happy with that. And it looks really sharp. I'm very happy with that. So, there it is, guys. That is pretty nice looking. And a lot more stuff needs to be done here, and there's lots of wiring and everything to do. All those have to be wired up and brought forward, and there's wire guides and everything now on this one. So this is really nice. I'm really happy with this. Oh, so there we go. We got the base put together. Uh, there's a lot of red lines. I should mention there are a lot of red lines. Uh, a lot of stuff did not cut the way it should have. And it's my fault. There's only one person in the way. It's me. We have some holes that are the wrong size as well. 
But you know what? That's why you do all this. Uh, you get the design, and then you move the drawings, and you get the fabrication, and you seem to have some issues. So I'm glad we're going through this here. We're figuring it all out. Uh, but man, I mean, compared to that stainless steel, this goes together a lot nicer. When every when we get the red lines fixed, it's going to go together a lot nicer. But I'm really, really happy with its looks. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to move to the next module, which is the reservoir. And the reservoir is super important. We're actually going to have to do plastic welding on it. And I don't want to get all the electronics in here yet and have everything all mounted uh, because of one simple thing, is I'm worried that my plastic welding is going to be good and we might have a structural failure on that. So it'll make for good YouTube, <laughs> but it, uh, it's something that we're going to have to go through. So I'm going to leave this the way it is. And we're going to actually set this uh, off to the side and we're going to bring the reservoir mold up here and we're going to start working on cutting the pieces for the reservoir and getting that all built up and then we'll actually do some water uh, retention testing, some stress testing on this. Uh, I don't have any uh, stress testing uh, capabilities other than does it hold and is there any deflection um, is what we're really looking for. But as long as it holds and there's acceptable deflection less than a quarter inch then I'm okay. So we'll see how that all goes, but man, I really, really like how this has turned out. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm liking this. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. And if you're interested in having one of these things, maybe as an early adopter, shoot me an email at trm.com uh, or jeff at eatinggrowsystems.com. We are looking for people who want to buy some of these. Uh, early adopter types, they will be expensive, but uh, it's kind of like an investment in the future of everything. It's going really good. It looks really good. <laughs> Take care, everyone. This is Real Martian. Out.